Hello, this is uh, ICR Tiger from thetradingtigers.com. Today, the 7th of July 2014, we're using Elliott Wave on the pound dollar from the monthly to the one hour, and this is the alternative count number one. Um, before we start, please go through the disclaimer, stop it, read at your own leisure, as well as the hypothetical performance. Uh, now, let's go to the charts. Uh, when I say alternative counts, I think you remember that we were talking yesterday about the other previous count. I can just actually show to you um, where the count was going downwards. We were, count, uh, we were looking at it as a wave two at the high here um, to go down. That's the primary, uh, sorry, that's the um, uh, cycle degree. Um, coming downwards for a wave three. Now, when we look at the um, alternative count, we're looking for price actually going up. So we've actually started this wave count way down here on January 2009. We're in an ABC correction off a primary. That's primary, that's red and in circles. So zero, A, B, C. Within there, of course, we've got the five wave structures off the um, intermediate that's green in brackets so wave one completed wave two and we're in the wave three right now now let's break it down into the daily chart we um, probably need to go back to the monthly chart uh, sorry a weekly chart so when we said uh, intermediate uh, green in brackets then we can actually see the breaking up down we got the minor that's pink there's one there's two and there's three we now go to the daily chart um, knowing that we're in a wave three off a uh, minor wave, and there are the f one, two, three waves. That's the third wave. We're now looking for the fourth wave to come down for the uh, minute degree, and that minute degree is basically uh, blue and in circles. We've got it at a, a very uh, strong level here at uh, one seven hundred, and uh, we can expect price to come down to that level and then before it goes up to move its way five. Now let's take it to a, uh, as you can see, there is a price and it's in the overbought area on the SSD, you can see it's gonna come down and that's gonna uh, line up with what we need to see. Move down to the smaller time frames on the four hour chart um, to get a better understanding and you can see the wave two of the uh, minute degree, we're going to the minute now, the minute is one, two, we're looking for the three to come up there and then the four five right um let's just now knock it down to the one hour chart one hour chart so what we can expect uh price to go up to that level um could we take a trade right now i think things have passed um beyond our expectations for price to come um to to take a trade if I were going to take a trade I would take it at 1.7183 that's where I would look to take a trade we can actually put a marker there and that's basically at that high oops that's where we're looking for that trade to to go long at and uh, stop loss would be at this low here or even at this low so we can put our stop loss well, we can even put our stop loss there to make it super tight if we want, wanted to do that. Just change that to red. Okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, I'm ICR Tiger from thetradingtigers.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.